Now I'm gonna show you some more advanced licks I like to use, some diminished, some harmonic minor stuff, and a couple of different variations you can string together to make some pretty killer solos. So get the work. <laughs> All right, let's get on to ascending and descending diminished licks A and B. Ascending means up, descending means down, in case you didn't know that. All right, let's start with the first one. It's one pattern, just gradually moves up to the next string, and it's really simple but strung together. It's really cool. All right, and we're going to start here on the D string at the ninth fret position since it seems I've recently discovered that I don't know my frets, okay? Even with my fancy Scooby-Doo bat stickers on here because I have no inlays, all right? So here we go, we'll start right here. Simple, just like this. Turn the distortion down a little bit here, make it a little cleaner. One more time. Okay. Then you move the same pattern up to the G string, ninth fret. Leave the bend out, I'm just messing around. Okay, next thing, next string, B, same thing. Okay, now we move on to the E, but you actually move down one more fret, down to the eighth fret, all whole steps. Okay, it's that simple. Now you put it all together, it's like this. And I like to slide into it with a couple of notes instead of just starting. I like to. So you can do it or not do it, it's up to you. But it's like this. A little slower. Okay, it's all pull-offs, hammer-ons. And you can pick them if you want, you know, once you get up the dexterity for it. Like okay. It's that simple. So let's move on to descending lick B. All right, the pattern for that is like this. I'll play it up to speed once. Here. Okay, I'll break it down now. Same exact fingering position as the ascending lick, but you start off like this. Okay. Move to the next string, back down to the B. Okay, to the G is your lead off string now. To the D. That's your end there, so it's like this. Up to speed, it's like this. Okay, I'll run the two together for you here. It's like this. Diminished licks A and B, ladies and gentlemen. Sending and descending diminished licks C and D. Let's get these out of the way, shall we? All right, same exact pattern as the first time. You know, the first one was... Okay, the only difference this time is different fret positioning and you're actually, you know, shifting where your hand is located. And we're starting at the seventh fret. Okay, second step, you move to the D string at the sixth fret. La 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 la. Okay, then you move to the fifth fret on the G string and it's all whole steps. Then you go to the B string at the ninth fret position exactly as done prior. You know. Then to the eighth, same as the last on, on riff A. Now you put it all together, it's like this. Okay, crank it up a little. Okay, that simple. One more time. All right. 
right? That's ascending lick C. All right, uh, descending diminished lick D. Descending, once again, uh, that means down. All right, I'll play it up to speed. It's like this little slide in it, which makes it really cool. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's like. All right, do it again. All right, it's really cool. It's one of my favorites. Now I'll try to break it down slow for you. It's like this. First part. All right, and it slides down to the A, A note. All right, that's at the 10th fret. All right, try to extend it a little bit here. Try to slow it down for you. This one's like easier to play fast, actually, so. This is the hard part, playing it slow. Okay, faster. All right, there you go. Now, um, if I can do this without blowing it, I'll try to string them together. There you go, this is C and D together. There you go, cool stuff. Now the same patterns I've just shown you in diminished licks A, B, C, and D, ascending and descending, can be applied to other scales as well. You know, it's the same little note pattern. But I'll show you a, a harmonic minor version of. It's like this. Okay. A little bit faster. A little faster, a lot faster. All right, that's the ascending harmonic minor. Now I'll show you a descending run you can use with the, the ascending run, but um, you can make up your own. You know, it's, you, you should get the drift now what I'm talking about here. So um, the descending one I have for you is like this. Okay, I'll play it a little slower. Once again, it's one of those ones kind of hard for me to play really slow. It's easier fast. I get confused and lost and don't know what I'm doing when I play it slow. But I'll try for you. Here we go. All right, try it faster. There you go. Probably a little different than the first one I played. Once again, playing it slow is tougher, but you know, you could mix it up any way you want. You know, just slide, do whatever, and uh, tear it up, you know?